Today we're talking about those body parts you just don't necessarily need and why you still need to take care of them. And this first part is one we'd really like to get off our chests. Hey there, Lefty. Hey, Righty. Hey, what'd you do yesterday? Nothing. Well, what are you gonna do today? Um, nothing. Hey, Lefty, you ever wonder just exactly what we're doing here? Every single day. Hey, so what are you gonna do tomorrow? Nothing. <laughs> that that looks like, great. like Mount Rushmore. That's <laughs> <laughs> talking. I that was great. Leave, leave it to our producers. I know. Imagine though, how weird would it look if we didn't have nipples? If it was just a uh... for balance, it adds it adds that. But basically, and you guys may be a little shocked at this, and it's okay, and all of you out there may be a little shocked. But most of us really start out as women, okay? And it's that why factor that I'm sorry to tell you that, but women are the fallback. We all sort of start out in the women mold, and because the women model is the fallback, and then as the why factor starts to come in and you get the tessies and you get the male hormones around, that's when everything diverges. Otherwise, up until about the third or fourth week, we start as the same. We're all actually well, kind of neuter. Yeah, exactly. And but we would all go to the women if you didn't get that Y factor in there. Mm -hmm. You guys always stick that in there. So essentially, male nipples. Did you say the Y factor or the Wow factor? <laughs> she said the Y factor the followed y. by that's why you always stick it in there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where that came from. You know, and it's and they are functionless breasts because women's you know nipples function for you know having babies, but also sexual arousal. But you all have all of those. Um, nerve endings in your nipples, because so they can actually be very, very sensitive on men. You're that, not going to be able to have funk. You know, they aren't going to. Well, that's a point I wanted to make. I wouldn't say they're useless. I mean, they're a sensitive part of your body. Yes. You, know. you spend and a lot of time self pleasuring your nipples. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> I mean, come on. I, I, I just think it's important to note that if women think that they've found the male erogenous zone, they're gonna be really uh, uh, sorely mistaken uh, no, 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 for some, some dudes. Exactly, but some, some men, but you're just talking about yourself, some men, it's actually very much an erogenous zone and a hot button. Right, and those men, I mean, may, a maybe. A little time spent there is good, yeah. try it. Try it, baby. Get back to us on this. Uh, <laughs> You can't just always jump into the nitty gritty. Exactly. And do, and do a whole segment on. I'm showing you how to stimulate your nipples. So what do you do? Do you like? Do you just start with circular motions? <laughs> <laughs> we are getting off. Exactly. We are. But yes. I think part of this is, you know, body parts that seem useless. They may be useless for some people. Like my nipples are pretty much useless. For for Drew, they're an incredibly erogenous zone. Amen. And, and that's why we're all individuals.